guys welcome back to my channel simply Tanika Dion I am your host Dion all right now today I am going to be trying the um, Huda Beauty foundation stick not exactly sure what it's called um, but I just wanted to try it I've never tried a Huda Huda I don't know why I, I feel like I'm having a hard time saying that I don't know why but anyway the first time I'm um, trying a Huda Beauty foundation product <laughs> uh so yeah i've actually i don't have anything from huda except for um uh i have a bunch of her liquid lipstick demi mattes and the mattes and lip gloss that's about all that i have of hers so yeah so i just wanted to go ahead and try a foundation for once although her foundations are matte i don't go for matte that's why i really haven't tried it um tried any rather so yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead because I, I love the NARS soft matte so much. I'm gonna go ahead and try this matte as long as you know I keep my face uh, as moisturized, moisturized and hydrated as possible. It'll be okay to go ahead and use this, you know. But uh, generally, I don't go for matte foundation. So anywho, um, yeah. So I just ordered uh, the foundation and a couple other things that go with it. Um, so yeah, because I looked on the website and she recommended to the primer to get with it and the brush. So that's exactly what I got. Just three things um, offhand. I do not know how much these products were. Um, it came in this little bag. But I will put that um, on the screen of how much the products were. All right. Now, firstly, it's the water jelly uh, primer here, which is supposed to be very hydrating, which you know I need because, like I just said, uh, my face is, my skin, <laughs> excuse me, is very dry. So yeah, look at the packaging on that. It's beautiful. Love it. Beautiful, nice and clear. It looks just like water, right? Sorry, let me throw that away. And then I have the brush she recommended to get with it. Face build, face build and buff foundation brush. Uh, Y'all know me and packaging never get along. We never get along. All right, and the brush looks like this. Huda Beauty, very pretty. This is nice packaging as well. And then this part, the foundation brush, and this is what you're supposed to buff it out or apply it with or buff it. Okay, so you embarrassing me. Okay. Hold on, y'all. This side didn't slide off like the other one, and I'm not trying to mess it up. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't cheap because her products are not. Are not uh, on the lower end. Alright, you see me throwing stuff away over there. I now have a trash up here too. Alright, so. And then I empty it. Alrighty. Alrighty. Nice. Okay, so. Basically, um, build and buff. You apply it with this side. And then you buff it out with the other. So cute. This brush is really, really pretty. We have the foundation stick itself. Uh, and I got the color cinnamon and I did do this online so you know lately that's all you know we've been doing anyway is buying everything online so it's kind of harder to pick your exact shade but pretty much so far I've been doing pretty good with matching um, myself which is good so there looks like that that actually looks a little dark in the packaging but like I told y'all before, I do like my foundations to be darker. This packaging is pretty. <laughs> Chef packaging is so pretty. Yes. So. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with the primer. Hands are slippery. I just put lotion on. Okay. So I'm just going to um, squirt some on my hand here. If I can. Like I said, my hands are slippery. I just put lotion on. I'm not going to get that much. Probably like that much. Come on. Yeah, I'm not going to get too much. Just that much. Oh, 
while I'm doing this, y'all, um, I have my good old faithful um, hair net or stocking cap or weave cap, I mean, a uh, wig cap or whatever on because y'all know <sighs> when I look like this, it definitely means that I'm doing a video within a video. So, yeah. Now, as far as my eye look today, guys, let me just go ahead and zoom that in real quick. All right, that is um, the Natasha Denona palette that we got in the um, BoxyCharm last month. And I used all five of these colors today to create this look. And yeah, as far as this palette right here, I did like it. I thought the colors work really nicely. Um, I thought they were pigmented because I saw mixed reviews. Some hated, some loved. But I, I, for me, it worked pretty good to do this little look that I did. I like the palette. I didn't have and not one issue. I really didn't, except for uh, this color right here on the end. I feel like it's a little chalky, but it's okay. I mean, you know, just didn't go with my skin tone. That's all. But I did you come on, but I did use it. So, um, uh, the viewfinder is picking up on. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I just thought this color was a little chalky, but other than that, everything else was fine. So, yeah. Yeah, I liked it. Um, and I did not do a video on that because, yeah, my focus of my video today is the Huda Beauty stuff, okay? And then, um, yeah. All right, so that's the primer. I just wanted to let it sit just for a minute. Yeah, feels good. Nice and feels good. It's not sticky. Um, yeah, feels good. I'm just trying to see if it has um, a blurring effect or anything. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to. It's just a hydrating primer. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, feels good. Right, now, I do want to say that I did use my Juno Moonshine before um, as my moisturizer primer too. But my moisturizer, it's a two-in-one, so I say my moisturizer primer. But yeah, it's a two-in-one. I've been using this nonstop, you guys. And I've been wearing makeup every day for like a week Hence to why my face is breaking out because it's not used to me wearing makeup every day anymore. Like when I was working and all that, yeah, I wore it all the time. It was fine. But now that I only basically wear makeup just to do videos or if I'm going out with um, my husband or um, we go wherever, yeah, I wear makeup then. But other than that, I do not wear makeup. Uh, so, yeah. Now, all right, so let's go to foundation. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring you in a little closer. Alrighty, so again in the foundation, I am the color Cinnamon 440G. I just, it looks like it's a little dark. It's probably not, but it just looks that way. Anywho, okay, so, and I'm going to take the Build and Buff brush that was recommended as well. So, um, you're supposed to use this side, the pyramided type side to um, buff it, and it's good for around the nose and you know under here and all that type stuff and buff it in and this side you're supposed to, i mean build it up to full coverage or whatever coverage you want and um uh, this side is to buff it up so what i'm going to do is on this side of my face i'm just going to apply this directly to the face and then this side i want to apply it to the brush to see you know if it uh makes a difference either way okay so let's go ahead Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. And I'm a full coverage girl, so I need to use some stuff. Alright, so. Oh, that's looking orangey, y'all. Looking orangey up in there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But anyway, so what I'm going to do, since I did it directly, I'm going to skip the uh, buff part. And I'm going to go ahead and um, um, just buffety buff. First, I just want to push it before I start smearing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to push it a little bit into the skin first.
I like the color. I do. It looked a little dark uh, and normally probably is, but because of my molds, like I told y'all before, I, I like my foundation to be a little darker, just not super dark. But yeah, I'm not mad at the color. Okay, so yeah, I just pushed it in a little bit, you know. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, buff that in a bit. All right, that is with one layer. It is definitely a full coverage foundation. It really is. I mean, um, not, well, you know, at first glance, it's not full coverage, but it is thick and it definitely wouldn't take much to build this up to full cover. Not for me. Now for somebody else though, this is like full coverage right away. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, this is good coverage. Very good like that. This is looking so orange on screen, y'all. I hope I don't look crazy but to me it's not that bad in person i can see better in this light but yeah it is looking awfully orangey don't you think is it looking orangey kind of looks on or maybe even olivey right olivey i know that's not a word but olive <laughs> has looks like it has some green up in there mm -mm. but anyway let's move past that y'all okay and so now i just did that side like i said now we're going to go ahead and uh use this and put it on the buffing side just rubbing some up on there okay nope too light that's definitely too light this wouldn't do nothing for me. Like doing it this way would not do anything for me. But it is still pretty. It still glides on super, super pretty. Super, super pretty. Yeah, that's not enough for me at first glance. Mm -mm. I would have to put it directly on the face. But again. But again, you can see the, uh, the coverage. It's pretty. It is pretty pretty okay so you guys yeah directly on the face and this is with a brush just one layer for each so the of course this is the side that i would use or um like better so i'm going to go ahead and do the rest apply it to face because i definitely need more than one layer I, and all my foundations i always use two two layers of foundation that's just what i do because I need that full coverage. I've um just put a little bit under here. And then um yeah, I rarely ever 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 use three layers of foundation. I don't think I've ever had it had to really. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And put a little more. Okay. That should be it. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and take this side again, the um, buffing side, and just, you know, push it, push it. I like to just push it first before I'm starting. It's, I look orange, y'all. Mm -mm, I don't know. I, mm -mm. I wonder if y'all are seeing what I'm seeing. Because I'm definitely seeing me as an orange person. Looking like an oopa loopa right now. But, again, the coverage is beautiful. <laughs> the coverage is super gorgeous. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah. That is basically all that I have to show you about the Huda Beauty Foundation Stick. Um, but, yeah that's it so now what I'm going to do guys is go ahead and use this Natasha Denona palette again to fix my under eye and I'm going to add the rest of my face my blush my highlight my contour and bronzer and lippy and I will be back again all right guys so this is the finished look um using the Huda Beauty foundation stick as well as the water jelly primer 
and the brush which I'm sorry you saw it in the last uh, segment but I did wash it that's why I don't have it here so it's in the bathroom drying but now um let me just excuse me y'all it's been five hours since I got dressed this morning it's been uh, five hours later now um it is oh it is um 5 20 y'all I don't yes it is 5 20 and um yeah so it's been five hours and yeah now uh, for some reason my allergies is acting up i don't know why i seem to do that later in the evening now i don't know but hopefully you can't see that my eyes wandering and it's running under my <laughs> eye a little bit messing up my whole gorgeous look that i thought i did today using the um natasha denona palette which i did discuss in the previous clip i do like the colors of this palette um it's definitely up my alley um beautiful and i thought the colors worked well they blended well um you know i built them up um which you, you generally have to do a lot with eyeshadows anyway not all i'm just saying that these are super super pigmented they are in my opinion because i saw a lot of hit and misses when i was watching some reviews on this but um i thought they did good for me and what i wanted to accomplish i think it did a great job so that's that and then um that's not even what the focus of the video was for i didn't even you know the focus is on the foundation stick which in the segment you saw that i said it looked very orangey um i kind of still feel that way but it oxidized and it looks a thousand percent better plus you know i added the contour and the bronzer um the highlight the blush and the lipstick well not lipstick um for my lips today all i have on is a lip liner which is the retro elf paradise lip liner like a chestnut brown type color come on and then the jeffree star the gloss um in shockwave so that's it just a basic lip um lip gloss so yeah and i thought it looked good it complimented this look and um yeah but the foundation i do like i think i'm gonna be happy with this and i'm gonna use it i was gonna get another color but i think it looks good i think it looks good it did a great job um it's lasting although you know it claims to be uh 10 hours which i'm not gonna have it over 10 hours for me it's been five going on six but looks great looks great so yeah and um yeah can you still see yeah looks great so um and let's see i think that is all that i need to say to oh and today also um i use this um what is this the elf 16 hour camo concealer um y'all this was my first time using this i tried this because i did go to Ulta. yeah about this concealer first time and guys no 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 for me this is a no i did not like the way it did my under eyes at all i don't like it i mean people love it but it's not for me i'm sorry i did set it with my fenty um and my jeffree star i mix them together which i generally do a lot especially when the concealer is too light and it, this worked great these always work great together but the concealer i'm not happy with but whatever i mean i'll use it again just to see but i just i don't know i'm not happy with it i don't think it did it has enough coverage even though it's supposed to be thick and full coverage i don't feel that way but anyway that's it guys thank you so much for watching today i really appreciate you if you have not done so already please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload like and comment